Got a lot more progress coming up on the Saturn V and its launch base. Not too much has happened since the last update to the rocket itself, but a lot has happened to what's below the rocket. Most of the progress that was made is in the base, and I have actually started construction of the base. This is just sort of a preliminary design. This is not exactly what the base is going to look like, but I'm sort of experimenting with some design tactics I might want to use for the base. I was also able to lay down some tables that the rocket's going to sit on, and these are the base plates that I'm going to use to house the rocket. I did tile both lanes or sort of runways for the rocket to roll on. Remember the rocket was a mobile launch tower so it would have had tracks it would have had to ride on something. I'm also sort of experimenting with these floodlights and they are power functions so they can be activated by just pressing this button right here and that will turn them on. They're not quite done yet but once I sort of figure out the design there I'm gonna have four of them on each side of the rocket just so when at night this thing can really be lit up. The base plate base itself measures about three and a half feet by four feet. All right, now we're going to move on to the actual launch pad. Now, just a little bit of backstory on the Saturn V launch pad. It was not glued to the ground. It was on tracks, and it would ride along these two cement sort of pavements right here. And this is just sort of my first design for the launch pad. It's going to get a lot bigger than this. This hole right here is where the actual Saturn V is going to go, so those rockets will insert right into that hole right there. And this over here, got to scoot forward a little bit, this right here is my sort of design for the rigging that would hold the rocket up. It's very sturdy, it's, it's in there very well, I mean this isn't overly sturdy right now, but that will get a lot sturdier. But this is really sturdy, and I'm going to build four of those in each side, right here. And those are going to hook up right here. So th there's going to be beams that go straight in here that hold the rocket up. The rocket will not be resting on the engine bells, it will be resting on these little clip things that hold them on the side. I have already begun to tile the base. This whole thing will be tiled in dark bluish gray. So that's going to take a lot of work. And this sort of space right here, all around, that's all going to be yellow to match this right here. The base itself is going to be around three and a half by four feet or more, uh, more around three to four feet. It's not going to take up this entire base plate base, but since the rocket is huge, this base is going to be really big. This is just sort of the outline of what the base might look like. When we flip it over, we get to see the somewhat simple construction. You can see here that these things are rooted in there pretty deep. I used some Technic bricks to get that in there really well. Like I said, this is not going anywhere. That is not moving. You can also see the bricks that are in the center here, which is where the Saturn V's engines will insert. And you can see the roots here for the other clips that are going to hold the rocket into place. I know a lot of you are wondering what kind of progress has been made to the Saturn V since the last update, but really not much progress, Ooh, I'm tripping down some bins over here, really not that much progress has been made. I have ordered parts to finish the rocket all the way to the top, so that should be done on the next update, so update I believe 10, 9 or 10, yeah, one of those, will be the completion of the actual Saturn V, and then after that we can actually start making a lot more work on this. I sort of started this sooner than I was originally intending to because I, I was sort of expecting to finish this first but since the parts are taking a little longer to get here I thought that I would throw something together that looked like a launch pad. What you're seeing here is only the beginning. This thing is going to get a lot larger. It's going to have a lot more parts in it. It's just generally going to be huge. If you thought this rocket was big then you're going to be really surprised at the size of this launch tower. That's all I really have for this update. Hopefully the next update is a li little bit more progressive. I know this one didn't have exactly what we were hoping, but I just wanted to get something out there so you knew that I was still working on this project. Hopefully the next update I will be done with the Saturn V and we'll do a nice long video on that. And I can focus all of my attention onto the launch pad, which is going to be absolutely massive, just served by an idea of what this is. So as always, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to never miss a video like this, and as always, bye for now.